Wow. All right. <laughs> this gets tough near the end of the pace. We're almost done. Let's look at page 42. Um, just looking at these story problems is scary. Yeah. Um, I think one of the more challenging ones, just eyeballing it, is probably going to be number three. I don't know. Let's try it. It says the volume of a cone is 78.6. If its height is 6, what is the base? All right, so if we take out our card and look at the volume of a cone, it's one-third the base times the height. Okay, and in this case, they're saying what is the base. So what we want to do first, this is what they're encouraging us to do, is first solve for the base. All right? So if I multiply both sides by 3 and then divide, that'll cancel that, and then divide by h, now I have a formula. The base equals 3 times the volume divided by the height. Okay, so you see what we did? We took the original formula, one-third base times height, solve for the base, which is what we're asked to solve for in question number three, multiply by three, divide by h. Now I have a formula, and they tell me the numbers. 78.6 is the volume. So I can say three times 78.6, and they tell me that the height is 6. Okay? Now I'm going to let you finish that. You just multiply these two together, divide by 6, and you're done. So that one's not as hard, but we start with what we just did in the previous section. Let me find another one. The perimeter of a square, no. Let's look at number 6. The length of a field that has a perimeter of 256 and a width of 36. So the formula for perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And what are we supposed to find? We're going to solve for the length. So if I'm solving for that, I need to subtract the 2w from both sides. So take p minus 2w. All right, and that's gone. And that equals twice the length. If I'm solving for length, then that means I need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. All right? So now I have a new formula. Length, this is what they're asking me, asking me to solve for. And the formula is P minus 2W. Take that whole thing and divide by 2. Now they tell us that the perimeter is... 256 and the width is 36. So we can plug in the 256 minus 2 times 36. Solve that whole thing, okay? Take that answer and divide by 2 and you'll know the length. Okay, so solve the whole top. So we're going to do the multiplying first, then the subtraction. Remember the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we have multiplying and dividing, then subtraction. Then, once we've simplified the top, then we do the last step, which is divide by 2. Okay? I'm not going to finish that one for you, but you, have the, you get the idea. I'm not telling you that these are easy problems. Okay? They are. You have to think about them. Um, but it kind of builds uh, from what we've been doing earlier and getting it to this point. We just have really one more thing that we need to talk about, and that is on page 40.